Hello, my dear students and viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Class. If you're looking for Class 10 Social Studies notes of revised syllabus, then you're on the right platform and watching the right video. As in this video, we are going to discuss Class 10 Geography Chapter, India, Mineral and Power Resources, Question and Answers. This video is going to provide you all the question and answers of this lesson and it's going to be very informative and helpful for you all. So stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it. And my dear viewers, if you also want all the other lessons notes of class 10 social studies and of English, you can visit the description box and find the playlist link wherein you will find videos of all the lessons notes. And the link will also be shared in the i button above. Now let's move ahead. But before that, if you are new to my channel and watching my video for the first time, to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Let's quickly start with the notes. We have first main fill in the blank. The first one. In India, dash and dash states have highest iron ore deposit. Answer is Orissa and Karnataka. Next. Bauxite is produced from dash metal. Answer is aluminium. Next, mica is also called dash in Kannada. Answer is kage bangara. So these were the fill in the blanks from this chapter. Now let's move towards question and answers. And the very first question we have here is, what are the important mineral resources available in India? Answer, the important mineral resources Available in India are iron ore, manganese ore, bauxite ore, mica, and gold. Next question. Which are the major states producing manganese in India? Answer. Orissa, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, and Maharashtra are the major states producing manganese in India. Next question. Mention the types of iron ore produced in India. Answer. The types of iron ore produced in India are magnetite, hematite, limonite and cedarite. So these are the types of iron ore that is produced in India. Next one. What are the important energy resources of India? Describe them. Answer. The important energy resources of India are coal, petroleum and atomic minerals. Now coal. Coal is not only an energy source but also used in the manufacture of insect repellents, explosives, artificial fiber, artificial rubber, plastic, chemical fertilizer, etc. Coal being an important mineral product with multiple uses, it is called black diamond. Petrol is not only an energy source but also an important raw material. A number of industries have flourished using this as a raw material. Petroleum is very important energy resource in agriculture, industry and transportation. Hence, it is called liquid gold. Atomic power. Atomic power decides the status and might of a nation. The important atomic minerals found in India are uranium, thorium, beryllium, lithium, etc. So these were the important energy resources. And we have given the description of each of it. Now let's move to the next question. What is non-conventional energy resources? Explain their importance. Answer. Renewable energy sources like solar energy, wind energy, tidal energy, geothermal energy, biogas, etc. are called non-conventional energy sources. Population increase, urbanization, industrialization, etc. have also led to the increased use of fossil fuels. Due to this, 
environmental pollution is also increasing. Today, it is essential to reduce the use of such fuels and preserve environmental stability. Thus, non-conventional energy resources play an important role in preserving environmental stability. So, these were the importance of non-conventional energy resources. Now, let's move to the next question. Give suggestions of your own to eradicate the power scarcity. So, these are the remedies how to eradicate power scarcity. And if you have some of your own suggestions also, you can add on that point. So, let's see the answer. Use of non-conventional resources. Giving importance to hydroelectric power generation. Use of alternate local energy resources. Encouraging the use of non-conventional energy resources. Educating the people regarding the reduced use of energy resources and producing energy from solid waste. So these were some remedies and suggestions. If you have any of your own suggestions, you can also add those points here. So with this, uh, we come to an end with the notes of this chapter. I hope I made the answers very clear and it was informative and helpful for you all. If you found the video to be helpful and informative, and if you liked it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.